is what is this community willing to do to make sure that this suspect either goes back to prison or somewhere else. We begin with breaking news right now. The manhunt has ended for the man Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone says attacked a deputy, leaving him on life support. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mitch Carr and we want to go straight out to Team 12's Jen Wall, who joins us live from Abrazo West Hospital. Jen, how is that deputy doing and what is the latest on the suspect? Yeah, good evening to you, Mitch. It's somber out here at the hospital where this deputy is still hanging on for life on life support. Unfortunately, Sheriff Paul Penzone says his status has not changed throughout the evening. Now, as for the suspect, well, he was shot hours ago in Tonopah, and now he is in a Valley Hospital in critical condition. A massive manhunt for armed and dangerous suspect Clinton Hurley ends in Tonopah. Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Pinzone says a homeowner in the community shot Hurley and he was taken to the hospital. That investigation is fluid and ongoing, but it is with a sense of relief that I express to you. I'm glad to know that he is off of our streets. Hurley was on the run today after attacking a Maricopa County Sheriff's deputy in Avondale, putting him on life support. Sheriff Penzone says the deputy, who was just under a three-year department veteran, had Hurley in custody, processing him for felony warrants when Hurley escaped in a sheriff's Chevy Tahoe after the assault. Just yesterday, I was in Tucson at a funeral for a DEA agent. So it's time to make a choice. Yes, law enforcement has to be better. But it's time to make a choice and recognize that there are evil people in the world that wish to do you harm and your children and men and women in uniform. And this is the perfect example of what evil looks like. MCSO says Hurley was in custody for sex offenses against children. Court records reveal Hurley was charged with child molestation and pled to a reduced charge in 2013. He was sentenced in April of 2014, among other run-ins with the law. Yeah, and Sheriff Penzone again says the deputy is on life support behind us here at Abrazo West Hospital. And throughout the evening, multiple different law enforcement agencies have been coming to pray and just be with the family, send positive thoughts that he will be able to pull through all of this. For number live in Goodyear, Jen Wall, 12 News.